Hey, awesome kids! It's Frogo, your favorite animal adventurer. Get ready for a wild ride into the fascinating world of animals with me. From the giants of the ocean to the tiniest creatures in the jungle, we're diving deep into amazing animal facts. We'll be chatting about majestic whales, speedy cheetahs, clever dolphins, and so much more. Buckle up for crazy, funny, and jaw-dropping facts that will leave you saying, wow! If you enjoyed this animal extravaganza, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more wild adventures. Your support means the world, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Let's keep exploring and stay wild together. Let's start with big and fluffy brown bears, the superstars of the wild. Okay, so picture this. There are lots and lots of brown bears out there, around 180,000 to 200,000 of them. Most of these furry buddies live in places like Alaska, Canada, and Russia. They like hanging out in spots where there are not too many people, just lots of trees and wide open spaces. Now, these bears can be big, like really big, weighing anywhere from 150 to 370 kilograms. That's like having a bunch of teddy bears all packed into one. And guess what? Despite being so heavy, they can run pretty fast, up to 50 kilometers per H. That's faster than your mom or dad when they're in a hurry. Brown bears are a bit like loner rock stars. They usually like to hang out by themselves, only looking for a buddy when it's time for a little romance. Baby bears, called cubs, are born blind and naked, like having a little superhero without a costume. In the wild, these bears spend most of their day searching for food, and that's why we say they're hungry as a bear. They sure do love their snacks. And oh boy, do bears have an amazing sense of smell. They can sniff out food from really far away, like several kilometers. It's like having a superhero nose. Now here's the fun part. Bears are mostly active when the sun goes down. It's like having a big bedtime party in the forest. In the wild, these bears can live to be around 20 to 30 years old. That's a lot of bear birthdays. And guess what? If they live in a cozy place called captivity, they can get even older. So there you have it, my little wildlife buddies. Brown bears are the kings of the forest, and they're the biggest predators in Europe. Our wild journey goes on with amazing world of elephants, those big, gentle giants with trunks and tusks. OK, let's start with their tusks, those long, pointy teeth they have. Elephants don't just use them for protection. They're like nature's tools. They use them for digging, debarking trees, and even hacking through the scrub. And here's a fun fact. Elephants have left teeth and right teeth. Imagine having special teeth for each side. That's elephant style. Now let's talk about a special elephant named Ganesha. Indian Hindus love Ganesha, who has an elephant head for good luck in weddings, exams, and important stuff. And guess what? In some places, albino elephants are considered super sacred. Elephants are foodies too. They munch on grass, herbs, tree foliage, fruit, bark, pith, and even vines. They've got quite the menu. Ever tried breathing through a snorkel? It's tricky, right? But not for elephants. Their trunks are like super snorkels. They can even suck in air from the water surface. That's why they can take cool diving walks. And elephants are like nature's gardeners. When they eat, they carry seeds in their tummies and spread them around when they, you know, do their business. It's like they're planting a jungle everywhere they go. Did you know elephants are like water heroes too? They dig for water with their big feet, creating tiny homes for other animals. And after a refreshing bath, they toss sand on their skin to stay sunburn-free and bug-free smart, right? Now let's talk about elephant friendships. They're super social and stick together in big families. They even have leaders called elephant moms. And when young elephant buddies grow up, they leave home but still stay in touch. It's like having family reunions. Oh, and elephants are emotional rock stars. They feel happy, sad, and everything in between, just like us. They're even known for having fantastic memories. Imagine remembering where the water is during a super dry season. That's some elephant magic. So there you have it, my little nature buddies. Elephants are not just big, they're wise, caring, and downright amazing. Join me on our next adventure, and who knows, maybe we'll meet an elephant friend along the way. And now, my little jungle pals, let's swing into the fascinating world of orangutans, the people of the forest, with some amazing tales to tell. Guess what? The name orangutan means person of the forest in certain cool languages. And there are three types, Bornean, Sumatran, and Tapanuli. But hold on to your jungle hats, they're like superheroes because they're in a bit of a pickle especially the Tapanuli crew, there are less than 800 of them left. 
But these orangutans aren't just any jungle buddies. They're part of the great ape family, like us humans. They're like our wild cousins, having cool adventures up in the trees. The biggest tree dwellers ever. Now picture this. Orangutan moms and babies are like the dream team. They stick together for the first five, seven years of the baby's life, learning all the jungle tricks, like where to find yummy food and how to build cozy nests. Speaking of food, orangutans are like foodie kings with over 400 favorite snacks. Bark, leaves, flowers, vines, insects for protein, and over 300 types of fruit. They've got a jungle buffet going on. And here's a jungle secret. When it's time for orangutans to make friends, they're kind of like solo stars. Adult males and females mostly hang out alone, but when it's time for adventures, they team up for a bit. Oh, and did I mention orangutan fashion? Adult males rock these cool cheek pads. It's like they're jungle bling. Females dig it, but some guys get their style later in life. Fashion is timeless in the jungle. But here's the serious part, my little eco-heroes. Orangutans are losing their homes because of palm oil, mining, and logging. It's like their jungle is disappearing, and that's not good for them or for us. We need to be superhero helpers and protect their homes. Orangutans need our help. It's time to be jungle heroes. And now let's flap our wings into the clucking world of chickens. Chickens? Oh, you might think they're just boring birds, but I've got a feathered secret to share. Guess what? Chickens are like little feathered athletes. They love playing, running, skipping, and even soaking up the sun. They're the sunbathing superstars of the coop. Now here's something egg-citing. When baby chicks are still in their eggs, their moms, the hens, teach them sounds. It's like having a cozy classroom inside the eggshell. And get this, chickens have an A-grade memory. They can recognize over 100 chicken faces and even human faces. It's like they're living in a chicken celebrity world. But wait, there's more to their chicken world. They see colors like superheroes. Ultraviolet light and iridescent hues make their world way more colorful than ours. It's like living in a chicken rainbow. Now, here's a bedtime story. Chickens do the chicken version of dreaming. Rapid eye movement. When sleeping means they're having chicken dreams. Imagine dreaming about corn and worms. That's a clucking good night. And chickens aren't just feathered friends. They've got big hearts too. They show empathy. And hen moms are like social superheroes for their fluffy chicks. It's like having a cozy, feathery family. Did you know? Chickens are like the brainiacs of the bird world. Their cognitive skills are as high as dogs or cats. It's like having a bunch of little Einsteins in the coop. Now, here's something serious. Chickens can feel things too. They have pain receptors, so it's important to be kind to our feathered friends. Let's be chicken superheroes and make sure they're happy. And last, but not least, chickens have a secret talent. They can taste salt, but not sweetness. It's like having a chicken salt detector. Oh, and here's a tricky test. Chickens understand hide and seek. They know that when something disappears, it still exists. It's like they've mastered the chicken art of hide and cluck. And now, let's waddle into the quacking world of geese and ducks. Yes, ducks too. They're not just cute, they're feathered friendship goals. Here's the scoop on our feathery friends. First off, when ducklings and goslings hatch, they pick their first friend. It could be a goose, a person, or even an object. Imagine having a fluffy friend for life, no matter if it's a goose buddy or your favorite toy. Geese are like the social butterflies of the animal kingdom. If they grow up with other farm buddies, they become the best of pals. It's like one big feathery family. Now here's a quick lesson in goose lingo. A female goose is called a goose, and a male goose is a gander. When they're chilling on land or in the water, they form a gaggle. But when they're up in the sky, they're rocking the title of a skein. Goose language 101. Geese have a pretty versatile menu. Seeds, nuts, grass, plants, and berries. They're like the gourmet chefs of the pond. Despite being waterfowls, geese are like land pros. They spend most of their time strutting around on solid ground. Who needs a pond when the grass is so comfy, right? Here's a sky show you might have seen. Geese always fly in a V formation. It's not just for style. It boosts their flying range by a whopping 71%. And guess what? When the lead goose gets tired, they do a little switcheroo. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now let's talk love geese are the romantics of the bird world. They mate for life and are the ultimate protectors of their partners and fluffy offspring. It's like a never-ending love story in the feathered kingdom. But hey, geese feel the blues too. If they lose a partner or their eggs, they show mourning behavior. Feathers down, it's a tough time for our feathery friends. And when they're not gliding through the sky, 
geese have a hobby home improvement. They love preening their feathers, hunting for snacks in the grass, and gathering twigs, bark, and leaves to deck out their nests. It's like feathered interior design. Here's a touching tale. If a goose falls ill or gets a little bruised, a couple of winged pals drop out of the Sky Squad to lend a beak. It's the geese version of, I got your back, buddy. And there you have it, the heartwarming world of geese and ducks. Quacktastic, isn't it? Wow, wasn't that a wild adventure into the animal kingdom, my fantastic friends? I hope you enjoyed discovering incredible facts about our furry, feathery, and finned friends. If you had a blast, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join our animal-loving community. Don't miss out on more awesome facts and fun adventures with Frogo. Your support means the world, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring and stay wild. Bye-bye. Thank you.